one of the uses of the folk sow or hyun sow is hypothetically could be different things. When he throws a punch and I do a jut, and I want to move his arm around to get to the blind side. Let's do it on this side. He punches, I jut, I move his arm around, and I keep my elbow down. I turn his arm around to strike it. So one of the purposes of the folk sow is to train you how to move a limb from left to right without flailing your elbow up. Now, in the seal and top form, the fork is done in your center line. But notice when you threw that punch at me, I blocked on my center line. My center line is facing there. I turned your hand with my center on my center line. Okay. So the reason this is important to keep your elbow in is if, say, you threw a diagonal punch to my head and I blocked you and I did this with my elbow out and you did a style of martial arts where you'd sit into a low boy stance and then hit me here. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay. You're gonna throw the punch. When I block, I want you to hit me. See, you hit me because I flailed my elbow up. So you wanna keep your elbow down, do it again. So I block, you try to hit me now, you can't because I kept my elbow down. Mm. So I moved my arm left and right without flailing the elbow. So, so the fork, so if it, even if it's up here, I block and I do this to bring the hand down. If I was here, it would be on the inside and check you. So all it is is teaching you how to block, move the limb around while keeping your elbow down to protect your flank. See? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this and doing that when you hit me. So that's one of the purposes of the fork. That's why the fork goes down, out and down. So it doesn't matter if the punch is high. If, if you were taller than me, and I would do the punch, I still bring it down to strike you. See, I, I bring it here, and bring it down to strike. Okay. okay?